Hi, welcome to the Christian Leaders News. I'm Abby Dominiak, and today I have very exciting news. We are launching a new Christian Leaders Network, and I am so excited about this. I've had the privilege of working on it alongside Mitch and Abby and my dad, President Henry Reinga, and some others here at Christian Leaders Ministries. Um, so we are so excited to be able to now share with you um, to join in on this Christian Leader Network community. But first, I do have a little video from President Henry Reinga sharing about why we are so excited about this new Christian Leaders Network. Hi, I'm Henry Reinga, President of Christian Leaders Ministries, and I would like to invite you to join the Christian Leaders Network. So what is this network all about? This network is a koinia media network. Koinia is a Greek word that refers to concepts like fellowship, joint participation, a gift jointly contributed or a contribution. The biblical concept of koinia is the worldview of this social media network. 1 John 1 verse 3, we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you may have fellowship, koinia with us, and our fellowship is with the Father and his Son, Jesus Christ. A worldview, hmm, a social media driven by a worldview. And that's what's happening. Places like Facebook and Google, they have a worldview. Is that worldview ministry minded? So we're serious. Social media networks have been around since the early 2000s. More and more, these networks are less and less friendly to the goals of ministry-minded conversations. We also notice that email filters are often excluding some of our students of communications. This network is something that will allow us to address these concerns and much more. I, I believe that. I believe that things were, are going to get more and more worldview-driven. If you think about it, um, a media company who owns the communication can be driven by their own worldview. We understand that. So we seek to take responsibility that the Koinia Media Network is operated by a worldview that's friendly to the communications that support more Christian leaders. So what are some of the features? Well, join a faculty-led club like the Theology and Christian Walk Club led by Dr. David Fettis. I lead the Influence Club and there's other clubs. We're so excited about these opportunities. Join our prayer and praise group and get other Christian leaders praying. Join groups. We have a select collection of groups, but not too overwhelming. Make new Christian friends in your region and throughout the world. Get access to more Christian leaders' resources like links and posts and fun activities and Christian leader store coupons, free downloads. In the end, it's about koinia is the reason. 1 John 1 verse 3, we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard. So you may have fellowship with us, and our fellowship is with the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. So I invite you to join the Christian Leaders Network. We're excited about what God is going to do as we together grow as Christian leaders. I'm thankful for my dad sharing a little bit about his passion for this new Christian Leader Network. Um, we are very, very excited to be moving to this new network and we believe it's taking the network to the next level. We are going to be shutting down in the next month our other Christian Leader Network that's hosted by Mighty Bell. And although we have loved being on that network, 
due to it being hosted by another company, we have a lot less ability for admin and features that we can add and things we can do on that network. Um, so again, we believe that this change and moving to this new Christian Leader Network is going to be a blessing for you as a Christian Leader Institute, College Alliance, um, or just in our Christian Leader family. So I wanna walk you through how to make an account and how to get all set up at this new Christian Leader Network site. So I'm over here on Google. So you can put in christianleadersnetwork.org. And if you come here, you're in the right place. This is our login and sign up page. So in the future, when you're not logged in, it'll take you to this page and you'll log in here. Um, and if you're on your phone, this may look slightly different. You'll see this, then you'll see the login and sign up will be below login. Um, so keep that in mind, but otherwise it will look pretty similar. Um, so I am going to walk you through this. Also, you can find our community guidelines down here as well. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new account. So here I am. Um, I'm just gonna make uh, an example account right now to walk you through the process of getting set up. I'm just gonna call myself Ryanga because I have another account that I have already on here. Um, and then I'm gonna just put Abby as my password and I'm gonna go ahead and register. So if everything was successful and everything was entered correctly, then you will get account registration successful. Please check your email inbox to activate. So I don't know what email service you're using, Yahoo, whatever it might be. In this case, I'm using Google, so I just go right over to my Gmail and you'll see you get a notification, activate your Christian Leaders Network account. So you will go here and you just follow this link. And as of right now, when you follow this link, it will immediately just take you to the homepage and the activity spot of our Christian Leaders Network. So you just click this. It's as simple as that. It automatically logs you in this first time. Um, but keep in mind your login information, and we also send that over to you. So you'll get your login information. So don't worry about forgetting that password or anything like that. Your login information will be sent over to you as well. So you're activated. So here we are, we're in here. Um, and so far, I see that there's multiple members on here. And right now, as I'm doing this, we just have some staff on here. Um, and so I just wanna walk you through, first of all, get yourself introduced and get yourself a profile. Now, there's a couple of things to note real quick before I do go to that, just about the navigation. We have a side menu over here with various places to visit on this network. Um, and you can close that out to give a little more space. And on the phone, it's gonna be closed when you come. Um, so you just have to click that to get this menu bar to show up. Um, if you're looking to edit your profile, you can go up to your profile up here. And this brings you to all of your various notifications or groups that you join or things like that, or if you wanna log out. Um, also over here though, right away, you're gonna see profile settings. Um, so I'm gonna encourage you to right away as you get into this network, get yourself updated on your profile. So here's the profile settings. I'm gonna go ahead and put my name in. I'm gonna go ahead and select where I'm from. Gotta keep going, scrolling a little bit down here. Um, here we go, so I can put where I'm from. Then I'm gonna save those changes, get that updated, changes saved. Then click here for your additional information. Um, so you can add a little bio about yourself. You know, I'll say I am Abby Dminiak. I am married and pregnant with my first baby. Um, you know, however you wanna say that. I am 21 years old. Any of the information that you wanna add. Um, and again, it would be great if you could share, you know, I'm a CLC bachelor graduate or maybe you're in our, our alliance or you're a part of this in some other way. So then I'm just gonna add some information about myself. You can even let who sees this if you want all members, everyone, only me, friends. 
Um, so that's just an option to keep in mind. You can select this if you want, otherwise you can leave it blank. Same thing with your birth date. So I can put in my birth date, when I was born and what year, just so that information's available so that people can know on this network when I, my birthday is and that kind of stuff. Um, so I really encourage you to fill these two things out. There also is some other options down here if you want to look at your email and password or your notifications. So you can find that down here and you can turn off certain notifications if you want once you get more familiar. So I just want you guys to know where that is. Um, you can delete your account, you can block members, you can change your privacy. Um, there was the profile settings we were already on. These widget settings, you can add some other things about yourself, skills, if you want to add portfolio pictures or quotes, anything like that, that is also here. Also up here, um, you can change your profile and your cover photo. So I just want to encourage each of you guys to take some time to do that because it's important that we can, you know, see each other or be able to share something about us. So then you would go here, get to the profile avatar, and then I'll just, in this case, I'll just take a photo, get myself added on here. Right, so I've got my profile added. Um, then you're going to want to add your cover photo as well. And um, this is good if it's a more far out image, um, something maybe again that would be a little more far out of you can be super helpful in this process of getting it nice. Let me actually go to my desktop. So I can put whatever I want as my cover photo. Then it'll say successfully uploaded. So now that you've got some of that information, let's go over to your profile and you can just click to it right there. So here is my current profile. Um, I've got my information filled out. I've got um, some other options here that I can look at. Once I have activity and start commenting on other people's stuff, I can find that down here, but I can see my own current activity, which is that I changed my profile, my cover photo. Um, and then once you get in groups and other things, you'll also be able to find them here. That's your notifications. You can also do profile editing right here, like changing of your profile photo. Um, so this is just helpful. And again, I encourage you guys to kind of explore around and look at each of these options. There's some more other things you can bookmark where you want to be. So now that I have introduced myself, let's look around this network and kind of explore. So over here, I can go back to the home and I can just see so far all members and I can see what's going on with people. So I can click all members and that brings me over here and I can start seeing what's going on. So there is our awesome help desk, John Dohler, got his profile added. Our awesome Rhonda is changing her cover photo. So you can see anything that's going on with all the members. Now, once you add friends, you can filter by your friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and now that I've looked at this, I'm gonna check out some of the other tabs here. Here's dashboard and you can see who's online at any given time. So you can see I'm online, there's Abby and Mitch and John and we've got some recent posts, news, we've got a calendar. You can even look at the upcoming events either here on the calendar or here. Here's just some statistics right now of who's our members, who's online, how many groups do we have, um, if you go to news, that brings you to these posts and you can read them. Now members, this is our member directory. And this is where you can start to add some friends. So you can add um, John or I'm just going to add Mitch in this case, add Abby. Um, but again, add everybody that you want. Again, since I'm just testing this count out, I won't cl keep clicking on everyone. Um, but again, you can add or you can even block. There's some options here. You can go to someone's profile. So here's my other profile. Um, so I can kind of check that out and see. Read about my bio and then send me a friend request if I'd like. Um, so this member directory is very helpful to see, you know, who's on here and who you can kind of friend and get to know on this network. Um, then groups. A lot of them are public, but there is some private groups where you have to request to join. Um, so you can kind of look through these groups, see what interests you. The clubs are on here. So if there's a club you would like to join at Christian Leaders 
uh, Institute Alliance, college, we have all kinds of group options here for you. So again, let's say since I'm a college student, graduate, I could go here and I could join this group. Once I join that group, then I can add and say what's new with me in this group. Oh, and if you get a notification, you'll notice a little one appear. Um, so then you can go back and, and check what's going on with your notifications. Oh, so I've gotten my first friend request accepted. Um, then you can mark all of these as red once you've seen that. So I can now um, see I, under my friends that I have Abby as a friend. So I can go check out her profile and read the additional information that she has. Now, now that I have a friend though, I do want to show you this, or I have multiple friends here. Once you have some friends, okay, so I'm friends with now Mitch and I'm friends with Abby, you can click on your friends in order to see their activity. So this is helpful, same thing, now that I'm joined in that college group, I can click on this group and if there was any postings in that group, then I would be able to see them. So this is super helpful and if you wanna filter out what you're seeing and you don't wanna see all the member information, um, so I can add a status. So I can go ahead and do that. I can say that I'm feeling excited. Um, I could tag friends that I have by doing the at sign and these two come up that I'm friends with. Um, then I can go ahead and, and post that either to my profile or I can post it to any of my groups at any time. Also, I can do the same thing with either making it public or only make it so members, friends, or only me are able to see it. So I can post that, add it to the network. I'm feeling excited that I've joined. Um, and then you'll start to see that under your activity because of I've now posted and I've added some covers and abilities. So this is again, super helpful. Again, you see those notifications coming up over here. I can see Mitch accepted my friendship now and Abby has liked my post. Another important feature I wanna show you is you may notice this little chat bubble on the side here. So you can pull up this chat bubble and your friends will show up. Any past chats you have or any of the groups that you're in, you can join a group chat. So if I wanna message a friend, I click on their name. I can say, hey, Mitchell. I can also message Abby if I want. Again, I can also even pull up a group and send a group message. I could say, hi, fellow Christian leader college students. Um, so there's a lot of options that you have in being able to send. So here we go, hey, Abby. So now I've gotten a response. Now you can minimize this and where that minimizing goes is right here. So then I can pull his name up again. Um, or if I exit out, then I'd have to pull it back up through the chat and I can see it under my past chats. So this is another um, awesome feature so that you can talk with your friends who are online at the same time as you. If you have a friend that's offline, then it will show up um, either yellow if they're away or red if they're busy or um, a gray if they are not online. So again, keep that awesome chat feature as well in mind. Um, so let's continue going through. We've looked at groups. Again, we've kind of looked at events, but this will take you to the calendar where you can see upcoming events and you could click on them and learn some more about it if it's linked or anything like that. Forums, they are forums within various groups. There is forums, but you also can um, answer other forums that are unrelated to a group. So I had posted this, so you could respond and say, um, you know, Old Testament survey was my favorite course. I absolutely loved this course and share some more details about why you did love it. And then you can even notify yourself for follow-up replies that someone has to your post. So I can add that to that question and say that that is the post or my favorite course was Old Testament survey. And I can say I absolutely love this course. And students could reply to that. Um, and fellow graduates, alumni, staff, all of that. 
um, the store. This would bring you over to our Christian Leaders store. If there's something you're looking to get, the store is linked right there for you. And this support um, can be very helpful in who to contact if you have questions either about this network or if you have questions in general um, about being a student. Maybe you're new or looking to sign up or you have questions about your college or your course or your payment or you need assistance as an alliance or volunteer. Um, and then it just goes a little bit into some of the features that we have on this site. Um, so that support is really helpful and we also again have the contact us right here if you have questions about this network particularly. This navigation and help page will bring you to a helpful video very similar to what you're watching right now of me explaining this. Um, so if you ever need to relook at something, we're going to have a navigation video right here. And then these are our directories, our minister directories for all of our, our Christian Leader Institute. Uh, graduates and then we have a clergy directory currently but we will be continuing to add directories um, so these are some of the very important features for you to know um, but please continue to look around check out this site and kind of explore and see um, what what there is to offer on here and share with us who you are we'd love to hear from you this weekend as you join this Christian Leader Network site um, but again, we are so, so excited about the possibilities of what this site has um, to you and this fellowship that could come from it. And so again, I highly encourage you to check out this Christian Leader Network and join today. So there is my little tour for now, but please don't hesitate if you do have questions, email cln at christianleaders.net, especially in this transition or any questions that you have about this new network. But again, we just want this to be a place that glorifies God, is a place of wonderful ministry, Christian um, pastoral conversations, that are God honoring and just a time of wonderful, wonderful fellowship. So once again, I highly, highly encourage you to join our Christian Leader Network. That URL is www.christianleadersnetwork.org. God bless you, and I hope to see many of you on the network this weekend.